Hello everybody and welcome back to the House of Clash. I'm your host, Crimson Pug94. So guys, um, as you guys know, our good friend, the um hmm. Well, as you guys probably already know, the clan games are back. That's a plus. One. Two, we need to give him a name. Because I, I don't like having this unnamed figure. I don't know what to call him. So I think we're gonna call him Lionel. So guys, Lionel has come back and he's paid us another visit for the weekend clan games. Um, as many of you all know, we're actually in the middle of an event here on the House of Clash. Uh, let me, I gotta fix this real quick. Hold on, guys. This is bugging me. Okay, there we go. Much better. So, again, guys, um, I apologize. I'm looking at the actual tablet itself. My camera's over here. Um, so for those of you joining, uh, please smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and welcome to the House of Clash. Um, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this here. Um, and as you all know, they actually upped the... Um, what's it called? They up the uh, the percentage so I can get up to 2,500. As you guys can see, my score can go up to 2,500. Um, I just did a simple 51 early, a 50 point uh, event earlier, just clearing some stuff off the builder base. Um, but right now, guys, we're in the middle of doing a an event that says gather. It's Lord of Destruction. Gather a total of 400 destruction from multiplayer battles. So it's worth 400 points, and it takes about a day to do, which I think is fair. Um, obviously, some of these here, total of six stars per battle, uh, 300 destruction versus, uh, and versus battles. I should have done, that wasn't available earlier, but the thing is, these actually cycle, these events cycle through pretty quickly, so I could, I could go into a battle, come back, and the events will be completely different. The only one that will stay constant is the actual event itself that I'm, that you're working on. Let's see, um, we're not in war. We're not in a war, but I will, I will gladly give you, um, I'll give you a Lava Hound, why not? I'll be nice, I'll donate you a Lava Hound, and I'll donate you a Poison Spell. Didn't specify the spell, that's what you're getting. Um, but we're gonna see if we can find a Live Attack, guys. Um, I do have 40% on this, um, <laughs> I really don't want to talk about it. Um, but basically, it, I pushed the next button, next thing I knew, a, a wall breaker started running in, and I thought I went to the next base. So I rapidly rushed to try to salvage it. I couldn't. Um, it just ended horribly for us. Um, let me know what you guys think of the face cam as well. I'm not... It's something I'm working towards. I'm not a fan of it, honestly. Um, I would prefer to have just the, just the... Because it takes up so much space. Like I can drag this anywhere on the on the tablet and it'll show up wherever I put it. But it's in the way of stuff inside the screen. I don't like it. But it's something new, something different, um, just for the House of Clash. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Uh, let's see if we can find a base. I may have to. I may have to uh, pause and come back once we actually have a base um, set up here, because it's just. I've been. I mean, with the clan games, everybody's on. There's really no bases. The bases come up. They come and go as they please. Actually, we have a base right now. Oh. Don't like those resources. Uh, the gold's good, don't get me wrong, but I don't like that base layout. Um, his heroes are weak. He's got everything else maxed out. He's hurting on walls too, but we're gonna go to the next base and see if we can find another one. Um, but yeah, it's um, everyone's on the clan game, so finding a base is very far and few between. So I might actually pause and come back once we actually have a um, once we have a base that we're actually gonna hit here, which I might end up having to do. So, um, but we'll be right back, guys, uh, once we find a base to hit. All right, guys, we found ourselves a base here. Um, it looks like he doesn't have any Infernos. I don't see any, or the Eagle. Um, he is sitting with level 20 heroes. We're going to come in from the top up here. So we're going to go Golem, Golem, Wizards behind, uh, Wall Breakers. King, Queen, um, do a wizard up there, wizards right there, uh, we're gonna drop a couple more wall breakers in, hopefully they'll get that there, I'm going to drop this right here, that lava hound is gonna be a pain, is gonna be a pain, but we'll, uh, get through it, alright, so they're going that way, I'm gonna drop a baby dragon over here, baby dragon over here, uh, use the king's ability, um, 
Oh, wow. There's there's so much going on right now. Um, race spell goes down. Heal spell goes down. We have the town hall. Um, have another baby dragon. We're going to drop the baby dragon down here on the bottom. I still have the queen's ability. Uh, I would like them to get that... Uh, ooh, actually, we might actually get a really decent percentage out of this one, surprisingly. Um, the queen is still up. She's roaming around. There's a random Valkyrie still alive, which is rare, honestly. I'm going to let this baby dragon go. Um, save the queen's ability. Don't want to... Yep, okay, that'll work. The queen's going to lock on to the storage. The elixir storage. She's going to take that out. She's going to go to the archer tower. Use her ability. Um, oh my. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to push for 100% bonus, guys. Ooh, actually, there we go. That'll help give us our 100% loot bonus. Um, have a couple other minions. I don't know where to put them. Um, I'm just going to let the queen go along the... Uh, actually, can I get that without... Inter oh, oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Tesla's there in the way. Um, the queen's going to go down. I got five minions left. Eh, well, we can try for the... The uh, dark uh, barracks, but I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, just outside the range. Just outside the range of the, um, or inside the range of the Grand Warden. But we managed to get, I mean, we didn't get much for Dark Elixir, unfortunately. But that's a hit I'll take. I'm not worried about it. Um, that should put us to 115% damage. So that's not horrible, actually. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on this? Okay, we're good on time. I'm going to gym up the heroes. We're going to do another attack. Uh, train that army. We'll just gem these guys real quick. And see if we can get ourselves into another live attack. So um, let me know what you guys think of the clan games. I like them, honestly. They're a lot of fun. Uh, bring something new to the game. And I just, I, I like it. It's different. Um, COC is one of my, is probably one of my favorite mobile games. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It was something new, uh, honestly. I I remember taking a friend of a friend of mine and myself to work one day they bust out their phone started playing clash of clans i asked them what they're playing and they're like oh i'm playing clash of clans i was like oh really i've heard of the game i'd heard of the game but i never played it at the time and i was just kind of curious myself so I, I downloaded it um got into it never really had to gem up anything until roughly town hall 8 just because everything sort of fell in line with itself uh the upgrades and uh the heroes and stuff everything kind of just fell in fell in place and it was, it was one of those games that kind of uh, it just kind of grew on me. I liked it. It was a, it's a different it's a different type of game. It's stra it's obviously an RTS game, real time strategy, and I just I just enjoy it. It's something that I can sit there and go from base to base, not have to worry about um, you know oh well you know having to. Um, okay, here we go. I like this one. All right, we found another base, guys. Um, Quick note on that uh, while we scout this out. Uh, those two are okay. Um, but yeah, so it was something new, something different. And it's just one of those games I just sort of fell in love with, uh, everything. So he's working on his queen. He's working on that. I'm going to come up here from the top of the base because there is no... Uh, the archer towers aren't being worked on. So I can drop them there, drop the there, drop the queen to help take out the... Uh, Drop the queen to help take out the uh, loons that are coming in with the wizards. Because I know those uh, those loons are going to be kind of a pain. Um, drop the king in. We're going to drop the valkyries in. I'm going to drop the jump spell right there. They're going to do that. I'm going to drop a heal spell. Drop a rage. So they're going to... They should rage up through into the... Uh, into the core of the base. The multi-target is down. The single target is being worked on. I still have a baby dragon. I'm actually going to drop the baby dragon here on the back end of the base. Hopefully everything goes well. King's ability has been used. The queen still has her ability. Pop the queen's ability a little early so she can take on the Tesla and push a little bit faster. So this guy was working on a lot of his archer towers. Um, we did manage to get some dark elixir out of it. And... This should be the last. This be the last raid of the episode, guys. But this wasn't a bad hit at all. Um, 100% loot bonus. Um, 
decent resources out of the base. He was working on a lot of his uh, he was working on a lot of his archer towers. His archer queen was being worked on. The Valkyries managed to get into that core. They ripped it apart um, because obviously with the heal with the heal with the healing debuff removed from the Inferno towers, it makes hitting an Inferno tower a lot easier. Um, I understand why they did it. They tried to make it a little bit more uh, fair for everybody. Let's just have the Archer Queen die off so she can just claim as much of the uh, elixir as possible. Very good resource hit. Um, so we got 4,000 total Dark Elixir out of that. Six, seven, eight hundred thousand in... Wait. Three, six, five... Yeah, so we got over 800,000 in resources. Not, not, over, not a bad... Not a bad uh, pickup at all. Um, so we need one more. We're at 191. We're almost halfway there. But if you guys made it to this point in the episode, and like I said before, leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm Crimson Pug94. Clash away. Everything changes.